day actually we're doing our photo shoot for our Blossoms catalog. Our Blossoms catalog is a catalog that we actually co-op with several of the florists across the country and it's a collection of all of our upcoming designs. I don't think that people really realize that at Tipton Hearst, when you go online to our website or if you look at our catalogs, that we actually do all the design work for that catalog. The process actually begins with us setting down with our catalog from last year and we do a jury. We actually go through and look, look at all of our numbers and see what sold well. We also get feedback from the other florists that use our catalog as well. Some of the designs you may have seen for a couple years are still of our, some of our top sellers, like our Lilies and Lemons and our, our uh, Dizzy Daisy are still great sellers, so we just keep those in the repertoire of designs. So once we go through the jury process, then we actually go back and I'll go mark them through the catalog saying we're going to drop this one out. Just because it gets taken out of the catalog doesn't mean that it doesn't stay on our website as well though. At that point then I have to think of what are the new designs are going to be to replace those that we drop out. Then we look at color combinations that are big right now that are fashion forward as well as certain flowers that customers seem to be asking a lot for. So we have to really look at the, the containers that we're going to use as well as is it going to be deliverable. I mean, is it, I mean it's all well and good to make pretty things but if I can't get a deliver person to get it there to you, then what's the, what's the use? It's kind of a cooperative event when we do the design, the catalog for the other floors as well. Because we provide them menus, meaning we, we tell them exactly what's in the arrangement, where we bought the container, where a good source for the flowers are. Once we get that process done, then, we all, then I sit down and work on the designs, get feedback from the designers, and then we go back into the studio and I actually design the product in the studio. There's a lot of jury going on is what I call as far as I always ask opinion. We look through, I look through the lens, they look through the lens. And that's what's so great about Nancy Nolan is that she kind of has, we've been working together with her for like 10 years. So she kind of gets the direction I'm going with. Ellen Scruggs helps us lay it out. And we, we jury it together. We kind of batter off back and forth. You know, that light's good, that's not. What about the wooden table? What about this window? And, and it all works really well. The first day is always the worst day because hey, we have to go. We have to get all of our containers together that we know we're going to constantly have in stock. And then once that happens, we start coming in. We get the buckets together, we, and we bring it down to the studio and just start. We typically, on an average year, we're going to do 30 to 40 new designs. We photograph it two ways. We do it on what I call a light box, meaning a white background. That means we can actually float it because it's all digital. We can float it on top of other environments if we want to or just leave it in a white background. And then we also always do an environmental shot, meaning it's set into an actual environment where you would sit on a dining room table or in a corner of a living room or whatever. I think the thing that I really work or strive for when we're doing photography is that being given the opportunity to see new design, I always try to make it where our client base gets to see uh, just a hint of it. It's not to say we can always, it's kind of like fashion. Yeah, you can go to Paris and see all the couture, but are you actually going to wear it? No. But you can always take one or two things of that element and, and add it into what you're doing. That's why I try to always tweak it or give it a little bit of a twist. So it's not just the ordinary um, wire service arrangement. Our customers still want pretty flowers. They want an abundance of pretty flowers. and they want to make sure that they get their value. So that's what we're looking for as well.